Hi, good afternoon. My name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing an issue with VMware uh, Workstation and Player with random disconnects, which look like inactivity disconnects um, when using VMware um, Bridge Mode, which bridges your connection to the external network, should it be a router or DCHP server. Um, as you can see, I've got Putty in front of me, and this is the typical uh, disconnect you can expect, network error, software cause, connection abortion. It kind of happens about 30 to 60 seconds after you've connected via SSH or any other method, and I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem, or uh, hopefully fix. Um, I know three ways, uh, or three methods, um, they're not guaranteed, but at least it will put you in the right direction, or, or it may work, or it may not, but hopefully it does. Okay, so let's close that error down, and um, I'll share with you uh, some of the methods which didn't work for me, but they may work. Uh, the first one being is go into your workstation. Let's come out of there so I can show you. Uh, you want to click um, Edit Virtual Network Editor, and basically you want to connect uh, VMNet zero or whatever number it issues with Type Bridge. Um, as you can see, it says Bridge to Automatic. Um, actually select the network card, should it be on onboard cards uh, or PCI Express cards or uh, even a wireless USB adapter or any wireless uh, connection then click that. Uh, as you can see below I've got a uh, tap Windows tap 32 these are VPN so I don't want it going through the VPN anyway so I'm going to click that and then click apply and then click OK so um, that's in case it's uh, trying to use a connection it shouldn't be. Uh, this method didn't work for me but as I said it may work for you so give it a try once you've done that. The other method which uh, VMware um, provides uh, this information is to update your network firmware so the firmware on your network card but the majority of us we don't have fancy uh, Intel uh, Pro 1000s or any other card which um, regularly receives firmware updates for security reasons or uh, improvements. Most of us will have onboard or USB which uh, don't have um, firmware updates. So the only other solution you've got is to try an update on um, the network card itself. So if I go to uh, device manager network adapters if you're on the Mac then you can do it your way um, as you can see uh, go to driver I've uh, downloaded the latest driver which is quite a recent one this year and it's by uh, uh, Realtek um, if you are using an onboard network card uh, uh, by going to the manufacturer of your motherboard most likely the drivers are outdated um, uh, most manufacturers like Asus and all the other ones uh, they don't really update uh, the network drivers on their page so what you want to do is head over to them uh, find out which network card you used as you can see um, the Railtech PCIe GBE family controller it's not very specific uh, it doesn't actually tell me uh, what uh, what that card is so go to the manufacturer of your website uh, of your um, motherboard uh, find out what uh, board uh, network card it uses then do a Google search or go to railtech.com or wherever it is makes your uh, network card and see if they've got an updated driver for your card uh, install that update um, you can try rebooting Windows or your Mac after you've done the update just to ensure that because um, the way VM works is it taps into these drivers and I'm not sure if it does it on boot or if it can do it real time so I reboot it it didn't work unfortunately but it may for you and the last solution I've got which did work for me and it actually did surprise me I did uh, it took me a couple of hours to come across it I don't know why I didn't try it uh, first of all but this was the culprit here which is I'm going to minimize that which is e uh, ESET um, 
or asset uh, smart security 5 um, the network connection um, the firewall was causing the problem so disable your firewall and see if that resolves the issue now it's worth mentioning uh, nod 32 which I'm using uh, is quite good that when you do disable it it does disable it but from my experience uh, especially with Symantec um, Norton um, disabling the firewall may still block uh, and have that issue now I haven't used Symantec in, in quite a long time and they may have improved their internet security over time and when you do disable it it does uh, disable it but as I said uh, sometimes even when you disable a firewall those policies or networks it's blocked previously may be still blocked uh, even if you've disabled it uh, so do check your policies and see what uh, within the log see if it's blocked uh, any internal networks and unblock them before doing so anyway I hope that information helps uh, please use the comment system if these methods do work or they don't work let me know and then I can improve on it and hopefully help more people uh, with this common problem thanks for listening I'll see you soon bye bye